Okay, let's begin. Hey guys and welcome, my name's NG Paradox and welcome to our Sunday Small Council stream. So for this stream, obviously I'm streaming as you can see here on the right. You can actually see the comments by people on Twitch. This is why I prefer playing on Twitch, it allows me to actually be able to uh, allow the comments to appear. As you can see, people are saying hi YouTube. So if I'm, if I'm talking to someone, I'm talking to people in the chat. I'm not going crazy. Hopefully you can see what they're saying here and that way it won't seem like I'm too crazy. You can actually get involved and see what the chat is normally like when maybe you're not here or maybe if you've never joined. It's always kind of fun, usually. Usually a bit too crazy. You've been a little bit too much rape and a little bit too much uh, maybe insanity. Bit more Ramsey Snow. I, I I probably describe my chat as a bit more like Ramsey Snow, but let, let's continue. Uh, today we're playing as the Pirate King. Arr, my mateys. Uh, whenever I read the Pirate King, it always reminds me of that One Piece. Just reminds me of that the Japanese comic One Piece, just because the Pirate King. But we're Orain Waters, the bastard Valerian boy who stole the ships from Cersei Lannister. Now, I've always enjoyed this character because obviously, you know, he screws over Cersei, which, you know, who doesn't love screwing over Cersei, literally and figuratively? Um, it's always great when a character does that, stealing all her ships and making himself the Pirate King of the Stepstones. It is awesome. I, I really like this character. Sadly, he's not on the TV show, so if you only watch the TV show, you may not know who this character is, but yeah. Obviously, like I say, he's obviously a bastard of the Valerian. Uh, if I remember correctly, um, I always forget their house words. I always forget the order. It's like the brave, the proud, the old, maybe something like that. If someone in the comments would like to put down the Valerian house words, I always forget. But yeah, so we're playing as this pirate. Now, this is the first time I've ever played as a pirate. Um, so I'm not very good when it comes to maybe the uh, mechanics or what we should do. So that's where this chat is going to come in. They're going to be my small council. Hopefully give me good advice on how to be the best pirate that we can be. And take advantage, obviously, of the Feast of Crows. This is the Feast of Crows scenario. So things are pretty chaotic. So this could be a good chance for us to take advantage. But yeah, let's begin. You are a pirate. Thank you. Uh, a pirate serves nothing but his own ambition. You owe no allegiance to either man or sigil, and you care not for any laws. To be a pirate is to acknowledge that there is only two kinds of things in this world, the things that you own and the things you have yet to take. It's the life for me. There we go. Perfect. So we have begun. We are Orain. Valerian waters. But yeah. Okay, so we need to make a plan then. Chat. My small council. Let's converge. Let's convene. What do you guys, my pirate council, what do you think we should do? What should be our plan today? And there we go. Rabbit King put it in. The old, the true, the brave. Ah, so I, I always get the order mixed up. I always know it's about something like that. But I, I like those house sigils. Obviously, they're a Valerian house. Uh, West Valerian. But uh, obviously, with the Targaryens gone... I guess it's not as important as it used to be, but yeah. Some Valerians have road dragons. They're a pretty interesting family. Always a family I've enjoyed. Uh, people are saying unite the stepstones, which is... I, I kind of agree with that, Rabbit King. You've said that to me before, yes. Um, raid Marine is also a popular thing. Uh, unite, unite, raid Volantis, uh, get Danny. <laughs> <laughs> we could always raid Danny and kidnap her, make her my concubine. I did that for Orain Greyjoy, actually. So, yeah, we could do that again, I guess. That's probably a good thing. But I agree maybe we should unite the Stepstones first. I think we need to get more power. We need to get more power, so we should unite the Stepstones first, and then we can go pillaging. Pillaging for maybe some concubines for me to marry, because obviously marriage is a bit difficult at the moment, because we can only marry really pirate people and I'd rather marry some other people maybe some interesting characters like Cersei or Daenerys you know take them and force them to be our wife <laughs> it's the pirate ray and Orion Waters will be the king Simtus thrown out a lot of fallout boy faces there I so can't wait for that game it's literally killing me just waiting two more days ah just too many, but this is not this is not about Fallout, this is about CK2. So we're gonna unite these places, then we're gonna go raiding, get some more money, get some more power, and then when we have more men, more money, maybe we can then go invading something. Maybe something delectable, like the Iron Throne. Pirate invasion. So we can go pirate invasion on Duchies. So you can actually pirate invade Duchies. But that looks like it. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. Force to marry Ariana. That is actually a good call. 
that would actually be a good call because also she is the heir. So, um, she is the heir. So that maybe would make sense to go take her. We'd get the hold of Dawn. And it's basically right next to the step stones. I like that idea. We'll, we'll wait and see. But let's begin. Okay, we have how many men? About 4,000 men. Um, we're pretty good martial and pretty good intrigue, which kind of makes sense for him. We're only a trained fighter. Uh, dual skill is 7.5. That's actually not too bad for a trained fighter, I think. That's not too bad. Okay. Um, so I'm saying, no, I need Danny. Okay. Well, maybe we'll look at... We'll, we'll see. I haven't decided yet. I'm just going over the options, what people are saying. But let's declare war. Uh, we'll take this guy, um, du jour. Should, hmm, should I go one at a time or should I just declare war on both of them at the same time? I'm not sure. It might be best just to go for one at a time. Let's go for war because we're basically going to be fighting a lot. So let's just go for war for the moment while we unite things. Okay, ambition. Let's choose win the war, I guess. Let's just choose that for now. But yeah, someone said invade the summer islands. I guess that could be good fun. You know what? Once we get to the point where we can invade, I'll ask you guys what we should vote go for. So you guys, my council obviously will try and help me in deciding what we should go for, but we won't think about that just yet. We can legitimize myself, but I think a lot of my chat like the idea of staying as a waters, the bastard. A lot of people like that, but yeah. Um, someone's saying one at a time. Okay, yeah, I think we should keep it to one at a time just to make sure we don't, you know, have something bad happen maybe. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Say no more, say no more. People in the chat know what I'm talking about. You have to be here to understand. Let's just go for one at a time then. Okay, let's increase the time. There we go. Perfect. Now, I have also a new microphone, but I've not been able to test it out yet. So I'm not sure how it sounds, if it sounds good or not, if it sounds bad, if I sound too loud or too low. So we're going to have to have a test of that. I do apologize if it sounds a bit odd. But we have word from Castle Black. The Lord Commander writes that cold winds are rising, the dead are walking, and the trees have eyes once again, and white shadows stalk the woods. He calls for all lords to put aside to ride with the Night's Watch and reclaim the dawn. <gasps> The dawn is happening, people. The war for dawn. Jon Snow, the young Lord Commander, the youngest Lord Commander there's ever been, has declared war against these apparent White Walkers. What does my small council think? Small council, what do you think? Should we go and help Jon Snow, or should we leave them be while we deal with our own problems? You know, it's only Snarks and Grumpkins, maybe. Um, some people are saying join Jon, help them. Um, help. Uh, get slave soldiers, ignore. A few people A few people now saying don't help. Okay, you're a pirate. Yeah, a pirate probably would not help. Don't help. F the watch. Okay, a lot of people are now saying don't. Okay, it's kind of, it's, it's almost half. I think more people say no, don't. And it does make sense because we are a pirate after all. Let's ignore then. We will not go join this. This war against supposed zombies. Pruh. What what type of madness is this? That crazy Jon Snow. Pruh. Tuh. Crazy Starks. They lose their home. They lose their power. And now the bastard's gone crazy. What is wrong with them? But we should be able to capture this guy here. I think he's just here. Yeah, at the moment he should just be here. Shame Isle. Perfect. We can capture him. Take him. Oh my god. To the deceitful narcissist Orain, tales of your misdeeds are told from Arbor to Asai. This is a formal declaration of war. Our army shall meet on the field of battle. Well, this is not good. It looks as though the high priest Alakro's anti-piracy war against the pirate king. How many men does he have? It's 11,000 men. Oh dear. Oh dear. Novos. Why would Novos come after us? The bearded priest. What do they have against us? Why? What is wrong with us? Hopefully they don't have many boats. I can't imagine they have too many boats. So maybe it's not too bad. Maybe it's not too bad, but we'll see what happens. We'll continue what we're doing. Hopefully they are stupid AI and bring a short amount of men every time. Um, apparently Jon Snow asks us again. Nonsense. No, no, no. People are already saying rest in peace. <laughs> I mean, it, is, it does look bad right now. It is look Okay, he's about to go to my capital. We need, we have 1,000 men to defend, so we should be okay at defending that. We should be able to take him first, but yeah. Watch Pentos join. That is a good point, yeah. As long as no one joins, we're okay. But if someone joins, I am kind of screwed. Um, pirates do not necessarily follow strict rules of hereditary and will not hesitate to abandon a weak heir. Your heir, Monteries Valerian, does not seem to have earned the respect of men yet, and so your realm will die with you when it passes. Well, I guess that makes sense, but we're hoping that we can live 
for a long time. We're very young. How old are we again? Only 22 years old. Yeah, we need to get a nice wife, get some nice children, some real heirs. Some real heirs. That's what I say. Send him to the wall. <laughs> Someone saying that's why I don't listen to good advice. I'm so sorry. I thought I had good advice. I cannot tell the difference. Uh, Dear Pirate King, I hereby invite you to the wedding of Sir Maelys Valerian and Wonder Wagstaff. Okay, so my nephew has called me to the uh, marriage. I guess for him, yep. Uh, Half-brother, I guess. Uh, he's getting married to a Wagstaff. Now, actually, who is my mother? So we don't know who my mother is. Okay, okay. I will try... Um, we're kind of busy, but I guess we'll go to the wedding. We'll go to the wedding. You know, it's a Valerian wedding, you know. We've got on a little boat. We get there. We have a wedding. It's all great. It's all fine. But I still have no idea how we're going to do Okay, here comes Norvos. Now, it looks like they've been dumb, and they've only brought five ships. So it's only f Okay, so we need to get there quickly. How many ships do I have? 90 ships. Okay, let's, let's call our ships. Uh, this can carry 9,000 men. Okay, bring the ships over here very quickly. And what we'll do as soon as we capture this, we'll put them on the ships and we'll take them there as quick as possible. Uh, Dawn seems to have joined a war there. Um, attacking Lord Paramount Stannis, they've joined this Aegon. The Aegon that calls himself a Targaryen. They have joined him in his war. Interesting. It's good to see Dawn doing that. Dawn normally does that, but you can never tell. I'm hoping this does not end up being a complete catastrophe. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. We need to take this as quick as possible. Okay, those two have gotten married. We've taken this. And it's now peace. Okay, we surrender. Accept. Excellent. Let's go, go, go. Get the men across. Now, I think they could probably get there in time. Hmm. How about we just send the ships here? One second. Yeah, we'll send the ships. With ambition, win the war. They get them on the 29th. Okay, there we go. Get on the ships. Now, the question is, do I put my ships just into here? I'm thinking if we just put the ships into there, we should be fine. Or if we put the ships into here, then we walk across. I think just putting the ships in there will be better. There is terrain hills, so it's kind of bad, but it's only 300, so we should be fine. And we need a new ambition. I think we'll go get married. We're going to go get married. I want to get married at some point, but we'll see. Hopefully I can get a nice concubine. We'll dock the ships. Um, you will lose morale. I know I'll lose morale, but I'll lose morale whatever we do. We're going to lose morale if we cross the river. We're going to lose morale if we put the ships in. It, it's basically a, a no-win situation. Uh, history is a subject that has always fascinated you, and you have spent the last few weeks studying the campaigns of the Valerian Freehold. Uh, there are many lessons to be learned from their conquests against the old Gascari Empire. Um, someone's saying I should marry Asha Greyjoy and unite the pirates and raiders. That's kind of cool. Um, ships in this mod are OP. Please nerf. <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go. Okay, our ships are going in. Now, I can't see any more Novos ships coming in, so hopefully we just get rid of these men very quickly. There we go, and it was done. Perfect. No problems at all. Um, someone must be the captain of my household guard, Sir Spank Salot. Sir Spank Salot, you, yeah, you can be the captain of my household guard. Congratulations. You will defend my honor against those that would defy me. Congratulations, sir. But yeah, we've taken that. Okay, let's delete our men one second. So I can declare a second war. Then again, should I declare a second war? Or should we just try and fight Novos? I'm just going to keep waiting for him to come to attack me with a small amount of men. And we'll destroy him. Can you actually see how many ships he has? No, we cannot see how many ships he has. Okay, that's fine. I don't think he has many ships, though. Um, oh, Cassidy wants to be my wife. No, I'm sorry. I'm not ready to get married yet. Not ready to get married just yet. I'm still a, I'm still a young bachelor. We'll declare war on this guy. Um, offer vassalization. Still no. Okay, perfect. De jour, declare war. Take me as your concubine. <laughs> okay, everyone's fighting to be my concubine or something. Okay, fine. Okay, we'll get that up. We'll jump straight into there. Now he's calling his men. We'll let him move, actually. 23rd. Let's let him move. You know what? Let's just let him move away. I've also got a new mouse as well, which means my clicks will now actually work. As you guys may have known before, I was having some problems in the last two parts, the last few times I was recording, where basically my clicker was not working at all. And the, the wedding's finally over, but yeah. Someone told me to marry Mace. I mean, Mace is a beautiful is a beautiful man. We, we all would agree on that, but I, I don't think that will work. I don't think Orion Waters is gay. He's not gay, apparently. There we go. The wedding's over. Let's head home. 
Now, they've managed to get 2,000 men. They managed to get Bloodstone to help them. Okay, but as long as we take this, we should be fine. Um, let's have a quick look. Yeah, leading troops on Sunstone. So is that this one? Is that the one he's gone to? No, he's left. So he's gone to Sunstone. Okay, that's fine. We'll just take his land, and that will give us a nice war score. Mace the Magnificent. No, no, we call Mace the Beautiful. Mace the Beautiful. Um, can I be your wife washer? Um, Captain Burton, does that mean that you wash my wives, or does that mean you wash my stuff? I I I'm not sure what you mean by that. Not gay. With that hair, please. <laughs> um, I mean, his, his, hair look, his hair looks good. I wouldn't say it means he, he, he's just metrosexual, you know? He's just interested. Now, I want to go destroy these guys actually first because we need to destroy Novos men so we can get rid of as many as possible because obviously we don't want them to get morale. So we can go there quickly. Yep, so they have low morale. Perfect. Destroy them. And it's done. We're on 6% then against Novos. I think we can actually beat them. I think maybe we're okay. Captain Burson just said, yes, I wash your wives. You know what, then? Fine. You can be my wife washer. You know what? My wives can get a little bit dirty sometimes. I think it'd be good to have someone who can wash them. It, it just makes things easier for me. You know? There's so many things to do. You've got you to gotta raid things. You've got to be a pirate. You know, drink rum. I can't also be washing my wives. It's, it's just too much. It's just too much to deal with. Uh, why don't I legitimize myself? Well, basically, we will legitimize myself if we have an opportunity to inherit uh, the Valerian lands of Driftmark. If we can actually inherit this lands, let's say, for example, he dies and so does his heir, then I would think about it. But right now, a lot of people like the fact we're called Waters, kind of making our own story. And I kind of like the two. You know, part of his identity is the fact he's Waters. That's how we've known him. And a lot of people don't want me to, so I'm going to leave it for that for now. But we can do it whenever we want. We are a king, after all. <laughs> uh, um, yes, let's continue. Okay, so we've almost taken... We're halfway on this. They've almost taken this, but that's not a big deal. That's one part of all our land. We're quite strong. Hmm, now I've got to think, though. Do I attack these guys? Okay, so f 46 men. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm a pirate. I don't need to legitimize. What, what sort of pirate needs legitimacy from other people? That's not a pirate at all. Do not kill your king. Yeah, don't worry. I'm not going to kill... I'll just have a look. I'll just have a look. I know it's CK2, so... Whenever someone looks at trying to kill someone, it's always suspected I'm just going to kill them. But I just wanted to have a look to see what the chances were. Okay, there we go. Bring them from the dungeons. There we go. So we got 89%. So we didn't get 100%, but that's fine for now. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to go to Bloodstone. Now, they may be traveled in the Bloodstone as well. So we're going to see if they get there. If I get there first, it's fine because these are mountains. Okay, 24th, 25th. Okay, we got there first. So we're going to siege this. Yeah, we're just going to siege this as well. There's only 46 men there, so I'm fine with that. A lot of pictures have been put up at the moment. Apparently, yeah, I am a pirate, yes. And he wants peace. We surrender. Excellent. Accept. So there we go. We got peace from them. Excellent indeed. And we should move back here. Next up will obviously be Bloodstone. And then lastly will be Saladasan. Saladasan will fall to the pirate king. We must have him underneath us. Yeah, he's a good man. I like Saladin San. Actually, in fact, I would love to do a si that maybe in my own uh, series one day, because we've done now Valeria, um, Orain Waters. I could actually be Saladin San in a future one. That'd be kind of cool. Um, is complaining about her dark cell. Um, hmm. Okay, let's be merciful. You know what? Let's just release them. There's no point keeping these people here. We want my, we want my pirates to like us. So let's release all his friends. Let's release all the people. Just so then our vassals like us. Some people are saying enslave them. I'm not, they're the family of this guy. Ah. <laughs> Someone's saying everyone on the internet, I see Fallout even here in CK2. Yes, I do apologize. But, you know, Fallout is a very popular game. Um, even for me, I, I, it's probably my favorite game of all time. Um, I don't know why. I just, like I say, I love to immerse myself. So it's kind of perfect for me. Always take their wives. Yeah, I know that, but the point is, is that he is my vassal. I want to, the vassals, I'm not going to take their stuff because we want them to be, we're trying to get glory. We're trying to be glorious.